I gotta go to Denver, Colorado. Alright, whatever. But anyway, I'm in Vegas. A lot of shit's going on. Um, Kidnap movie review. I went and seen Kidnap. I wanted to go see that Detroit movie about the 67 riots, but uh, it got out too late and it was too late of a showing, so I had to, you know. So I went and seen Kidnap. It was only an hour and a half long, whatever. So anyway, Kidnap. Hail Berry, Halle Berry, whatever her name. Is that the one married to Will Smith? No, that's no, that's somebody else. Okay. Uh, Hal Berry, Halle Berry, and there was a couple of white trash redneck slobs in that movie. Some nobodies I've never seen before. Not to be racist against white people or nothing, but you know, whatever. Don't tread on me. Anyway, it's about a kid that gets kidnapped. That mysterious person in a Mustang. A lot of people have seen the previews and they're probably thinking, oh, this is going to be stupid. Uh, I've seen better, I've seen worse. Yeah, the action in it was uh, okay. I'm not going to say it was great. I mean, there are some good smash up scenes. I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to give too much away. Um, takes place in Louisiana. Louisiana is predominantly an African American state. Not that that matters. I think it takes place along the I-10 there, uh, Jefferson Parish, which Louisiana is the only state that doesn't have counties. They call them parishes. Paris. So Jefferson Parish, which is, uh, God, I, I don't know. I think it's just west of uh, New Orleans. Sitting till those fucking previews. Jesus. They got some stupid movies coming out. Usually, summertime, they got some good flicks. The, when the fall comes around, it starts dying off again. They get the stupid shit coming out. Halloween's just around the corner, so you get your stupid Halloween horror movies coming out. But anyway, uh, let's talk about this movie. I gotta be honest. I think it was kind of stupid. It wasn't bad. I'm not gonna say it was great. I think the plot in it was a little shitty. I think Hollywood, you know, they could have done a little better job than this. One to ten, I give it a seven. Maybe a six point eight. One to five star, I give it a three point five, maybe three point two. It was average. Yeah, I'm not gonna say it was real great. I've seen better than this. It wasn't horrible, but there kind of wasn't a plot. Let me just say that. There kind of was not a plot. But let's get down to the stupidity of it. You mean to tell me that a fucking Mustang can now outrun a fucking V6 caravan? Come on! Think logically here. She's chasing after this fucking Mustang in a fucking van. Does Hollywood think they were that fucking stupid? But then you gotta think. It was a newer van, so the van's engine was more powerful than other vans they made in the past. And you gotta think it was an 80s, whatever, it, Mustang. It wasn't a Cobra Mustang. It was one of the shitty Mustangs they made back in like the, back in like the early 80s. They made a shitty, for like a couple of years, they made a shitty brand of Mustang. And that's what kind it was. It looked like looked like an 84 Mustang. The shitty kind. It wasn't a Cobra or nothing like that. So I don't think it had a real powerful engine. I mean, I don't even think the engine was a V8. So, so logically, that's a possibility that this van could catch up with this fucking Mustang. But come on, man. I'm not going to give too much away, but the way that, you know, the van kept catching up to the Mustang, it almost like... The Mustang wanted to, for them to follow him or something, but I'm not going to give too much away. Other than that, it, it, it's not a great movie, I'm going to be honest. I've seen a lot better. 
the action in it was okay, but I, I don't know. I, the, the plot was kind of fucking stupid, and the ending was just dumb. I mean, it, the ending wasn't, I'm not going to say dumb, but kind of, you know, just blah. Like, like I sat through an hour and a half a movie for this and kind of ending. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of feel like I wasted my $13. 13 fucking dollars in Vegas to go see a fucking movie. You believe that shit? I should have. Honestly, I think I should have went and seen Detroit instead. Because I was born and raised in Detroit. And I'm into historical movies like that. You know, political movies like that. That's that's kind of like what I'm into. So I decided, well, I'll go see Kidnap. I think I should have went and seen Detroit. So that's my movie reviewer, Kidnap. If you haven't seen it, don't waste your money. It's not that great. I would say, well, I don't know. I don't even think it's going to do that good at the box office, honestly. I think it just came out today, Saturday, right? I think it just came out yesterday. And Saturday night in Vegas, the, the strip is full. Nobody's going to want to go inside the movies and sit in movies for two hours. They want to walk around the strip. And I did. I went. I, I walked around the strip for a couple hours and I went and see the movie. Then I got out of the movies and I walked around for like another hour. But anyway, kidnap movie review. Don't waste your money. I've seen better. I've seen Hal Berry in the whatever her name, however you pronounce her name. She was topless in that one movie with the uh, I think it was Swordfish. Maybe was it called Swordfish? John Travolta. Like ten or twelve years ago, there was a movie. I think it was called Swordfish. I don't know. Anyway, Halle Berry, fine actress, but I think this was a disappointment in her career. That's it. 